Okay, so this is my Grizzly G4000 lathe. And you see it's got the slides in it like the, a lot of the Encos. So when you're cutting threads, you go to zero. Yeah. If you remember how many times you turned it. So the plan is to make a zero stop for the top slide. So we got these two holes here we're going to use. Take a piece of angle, cut the bit there, and we'll cut it lengthwise here, and we'll cut it here, come up, flat spot, flat spot, down here, and we'll trim it off two holes. Okay, that's one half. The other half, we'll take a piece of splat bar, we'll cut it, stick over so that it will hit again our stop. Two holes in it, and go with our T bolts, then go in there. So I'll get them cut, and then uh, get them cut, and I'll cut them off the camera with the hacksaw, and then we'll get them shaped up, and then we'll put it on here and see how it goes. See which way we need to go. I just need to polish up a little. I have a middle machine, so it's a middle machine in my hand.
You could cut the bridge wire. Let me dress it a little bit. Okay, let me get the cut dressed up. No more deburring, that'll be good. Get that edge there. Oh, okay, I'll get that on another back. I'll be back in a minute and show you where it goes. Okay, so we got our parts cut now. Let me get a screwdriver here to take these screws out. Okay, we got our screws out. We'll put a part on there. So this piece can stay on. It don't have to come off unless you go to use your bottle breast. So it's not really in the way. Other than keeping chips out from behind it. These are the T nuts that was on the original plate. I've got the four bolt plate on here now. If you haven't done a four bolt plate, it's a good upgrade. Okay, yeah, set this side a minute. This typically wants to be on this side. Okay, got that. Let's get a piece of scrap. So I don't have it set up for threading right at the moment. But you'll get the idea of what I'm talking about. Okay. You can see what's going on there. Okay. You set up for zero. So that would be your zero. So you set your 
dial to zero down here instead of having to look down at your dial all the time you can boost this up you stop and tighten that down So now, when you're threading, you come across there, and you back off, you don't have to worry about how many times you turn the dial, but when you backed off, you can come right back to zero every time there. See? And then you feed in with your compound slide. That's my little idea, and that's the plates, and that's how it works on the G4000. Just thought I'd share that with everybody. So hopefully somebody gets something out of it. If not, then uh, you know we've had some entertainment watching the old man fumble around. Ah, right, please like and subscribe. Thank you.